Talk about some of the other factors driving the prices where they are today. Well, again, you have this issue of asset prices being sold off and gold has always taken advantage of that. And what's generally happened is the Fed, again, bringing that out, cuts rates to help the economy and help asset prices. That's been a driver of gold in the past. And a lot of people believe that CME Fed watch tool has cuts starting in July of this year, which the Fed says they're not going to do. Another one is people think of gold as an inflation hedge, and it's really not. What gold is, is it's an asset. And if you look at assets in general, when inflation starts and then continues to rise through, gold powers through that because it's an asset, just like house prices, just like stocks. We forget the good part about inflation is asset inflation and gold is an asset. The problem comes in for gold investors when the Fed starts to aggressively fight inflation. So something we haven't had, which has contributed to gold's underperformance over the last decade or so, was we haven't had inflation, so we haven't had a Fed to fight inflation. And that's kind of gave gold this weakness. When inflation started, gold rallied. We saw that March spike that references almost the all-time high that Shauna mentioned. We're driving toward that again. And if we are in a situation where, as Neil Dutta from Renaissance or at Macro put it, um, inflation remains unaddressed, then gold's going to benefit from that. Bob, how much upside is there to gold? Is Are we talking 2,500? Are we talking above that? Well, here's what people think I'm nuts. I think we can easily break to new highs. And I think if it goes the way I think it's going to go, easily within the next 12 months, we could see 2,800. I used to say by the end of the year, I'm not saying that anymore because I think the Fed was much more aggressive than I thought they would be when I made that call. But I think the issue here is the popular opinion and the politically popular opinion is that the Fed should stop trying to fight inflation. And I don't think people realize how bad that is for the whole country as opposed to just two or three million people. And I don't mean to downplay that. I want to stress that. But the two or three million people that may lose their jobs in a recession, a recession, as investors should look at it, is good for gold. I'm sorry, is good for stocks. It's not necessarily good for gold. Where gold outperforms is when there's inflation and a recession. And I think that's what we're going to because I think the Fed is going to cave into pressure and stop fighting inflation.